flippers are looking for, their target is they want to find distressed properties or people with a problem. So first we need to look at that. It's like, okay, if I'm flipping a house, what am I looking for? You got to determine what your target is. So what we're looking for when flipping a house is people with financial problems. They might've lost their job or they just can't afford to make their payment and they're losing their house. Maybe pre-foreclosure, going into foreclosure, things like that. Like they're losing the house, can't afford it. Most of the time that property is going to be distressed because they don't have the money to fix it anyways. So that's number one. Number two is somebody in divorce. A lot of times in divorce, people need to sell the house because it's jointly owned. And a lot of times they just want to sell it quickly, convenient. And also sometimes they just want to screw their spouse. Like they just want to get rid of it. So that's a problem there. People in divorce are stressed out. The problem they have is they need to sell their house and there could be issues in their relationships that is their problem that you can help them solve and just buy their house from. Third I see is people that inherited a house. So think about this. Say Joe's out there working nine to five, paycheck to paycheck, and can barely make his bills. He inherits a house from his parents, which most people think inheriting a house is a good thing, but he inherits his house, right? And what comes with that is all the taxes, all the utilities, all the insurance, but more importantly, most houses that you inherit haven't been updated for like 30 years. So now if he wants to sell this house, he's got to come up with 30, 40 grand to fix the house to even get it ready for the market. So a lot of times people inheriting a home is actually a really big problem for them because they inherit it, but now they just inherited a problem, especially if they're paycheck to paycheck and don't have a lot of financial means, right? Other type of people are landlords. A lot of people try to be landlords. They might have one or two properties and haven't built out processes. They rent to the wrong people. They can't get people to pay them rent, things like that. So we call it a tired landlord, like a landlord that has issues and does not know how to properly vet tenants, manage them, rent places out, things like that. So sometimes landlords are a target there. Pre-probate, a recent death of an employee not filed for probate. So probate leads. Uh, hoarder houses is a big one. So a big problem in this space, let me take a step back. Think about it like this. If you own a house and it's filled, like I bought houses that are just completely filled with like columns that you walk down and you live on the street and you know all the neighbors, do you want to list your house on the market and have all your neighbors walking through your house, seeing how you live? There's nothing wrong with being a hoarder. Like everybody's got their thing, but a lot of times hoarders, that's their problem. They're embarrassed and they don't want to sell their house publicly. And a lot of times with hoarders too, you get into the house and you find all these repairs that need done because their house has been stacked with stuff all through the house for years and you can't see what's behind it. So a lot of times in hoarders house, especially in Pittsburgh, because I see their foundations are always usually cracked, not because they're a hoarder, just because they didn't notice it and were able to fix it in time because the whole wall, is, especially the basement's been covered. So hoarders are one there. I purchased properties also at a discount from people that just wanted convenience. They're like, hey, you know what? I'm moving from Pittsburgh to Washington to go live with my daughter. I don't want to list it. I'm willing to give you a discount. They gave a medium discount though. It's not like a 70% ARV discount. They're like, I'm willing to give you a discount to just not have to deal with anything. So I purchased it because I buy them for rentals. That might've been like 85% ARV, maybe 90% instead of 70%. But that is also a distressor depending on the dispos, right? They may not be a huge fit for a flipper because a lot of times their properties aren't beat up. And then last is like, say someone lost their job and just can't afford to payment situations like that. So flippers are looking for distressed properties and people with problems.